Hello everyone, this is Eli, and I'm here with Jordan. Hey everyone. And we are Cardboard Confrontation, and today we are playing some Commander. And I am playing Olivia Voldaren. For a red, a black, and two, I get a 3-3 three, three flyer. For a red and one, I can deal one damage to another creature, and that creature becomes a vampire in addition to its other types, and Olivia Voldaren gets a plus one, plus one counter. And for two black and three, gain control of target vampire for as long as I control Olivia. And I'm playing Storev, Devgarin Lich, which is a four mana five four that has trample. And whenever Storev deals combat damage to a player or planeswalker, return to your hand target creature or planeswalker in your graveyard that wasn't put there this combat. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Oh, had to mulligan into this beauty of a hand. We shall nice. see. Hopefully, I draw a land right away to at least make this a game. Store of is a pretty good deck. Lots of value, lots of lots of removal, lots of planeswalkers. Very interesting. Mm, go. 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 No red mana. No red mana. Well. Not currently. Uh, come on by you. I would mind a blind slave mire. By you? Nature's lore? Boots. I got das boots. Das boots. Das boots, yeah. We got the boots now, you like? Yes. Yeah. Alright. Mono black. You're not playing Gaunte. No. Mm -hmm. Sure. Take them both. He's taking them. And uh, helps a little bit with the mulligan. Alright, let's help you out. I'm going to deal some damage to myself. Mm -hmm. I don't think you're going to be helping me out with Agent Team. Feels like I'm just gonna get farther behind. Yep. And I'm way behind. Four, five, six, what a seven mana next turn if you feel the And a hasty stir of haste. Hmm, where were you at turning on? So I can play this into this, which is fine. Or I can play this, then this, and then that. Two different lines, which is better. Anything I play, I'm pretty sure it's just gonna immediately die. Let's go for mana, I guess. Get my Screezy on. Okay. Do I want that? No. I do not. Got your reds. Got my reds. Got my Coalition Relic. Okay. Uh, God, this card costs way too much mana to use. I think they could have made this three mana to activate, not five. That would have been totally fine. Uh, this is no cards in hand. Do I want this? 
Check that. Hmm. Maybe I got waited a turn to do that. But I think I need to dig. That was an option there. It was an option waiting a turn to do that. I think digging's best, so. All right. Seven mana. Play your Seven. commander, equip it up, hit me for five. I could do that. But I don't know if that would do it. It's pretty good. I'm tapped out. Can't do anything after that. Well, this this is one. To, obviously, you can. Uh, this deck can totally function without your commander in play, but definitely does want it in play. Functions much more efficiently. Absolutely, and I totally get that. I just feel like um, yep. this this might be more fun. Well, for me, maybe. That's always good too, putting it on an open board. Nebraska. Uh, planeswalker. Get some damage in there. Hmm, not even worried about. Uh, that thing just goes up to eight. Uh, oh, my life total becomes a one. That's bad. I forgot, yeah, it is. I forgot about that ultimate. Destroy target artifact creature enchantment. Bad news bears. Well, two, three, four, five, six, four. That one's good. Yeah, I thought about casting a turn and going turn four. Instead, I went for the relic. Two. Let's go. That guy. Blood Throne Vampire. Blood Throne. In my yard, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna reanimate some stuff. Don't look at my graveyard. I'm so greedy. Nah. Not that greedy. So greedy. So, if I attack, I can kill one of your dudes. Or I can make another thing and attack with that. Hmm. Or I can keep a blocker. Yep. Yeah. Whatever. I would just plus and keep a blocker. Play your commander. Equip the commander. I don't know. Three blockers is pretty good. Attacking me. Attacking. Oh. Okay. Well, interesting. Did not see that one going. No. No. Figure if you're going to attack, you're just going to attack with one, not both. That dude. <laughs> I 
card is pretty good. The Blood Crafter? Yes. Or the uh, Evolution Sage. Blood Crafter is really good too. Every card in your battlefield is good, but it, I meant the uh, Sage. The card is pretty sick with Plains Augers. It is. Escape shift? <laughs> Make every planeswalker like ultimate at once. You're like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I am dead. You are just going to do that. I need a hero's downfall, which I do not have. So. I gotta block this guy. This thing doesn't have trample, all right? No, we're good. No tramples. I wish. <laughs> oh god! Can't stop that. Damnation. Level up time. Level up. Card is surprisingly good in Commander. Repeatable removal on a stick is quite good. Yep. Nothing I could do about it. Boots that guy up. Boots that guy up. Use your commander. Make my life total one. Hit me for trample. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. There's no way I could go to get around it. Get in there, store of. I was hoping you'd play him. The turn earlier, I was like, yeah, just play your commander, swift boot and butt, and I was gonna like damnation that turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> GG's. Reveal my hand? Oh, wait, I'm hellbent. Oh, Dark Imposter. Yeah, I had a fairly uh, <laughs> Wings Grace in the Judgment. I didn't want to blow up your red sources, or your red source, at least one of them. Or even your, uh, your Coalition Relic, you know, for the sake of friendly gameplay uh, but, uh yeah you can get my relic with judgment but not my land well i could kill it with wind grace's judgment right i had it in my hand yeah my relic you can't touch my land though oh well, yeah none, none land. Land. yeah they pretty much write all those all the cards like that now they always pretty much all say non-land <laughs> they need to have like some kind of land destruction Oh, there definitely is land destruction in the deck. There's like Wasteland and uh, Acidic Slime and it's probably something else. Mm -hmm. I always make sure to have ways to deal with most permanents if I can in a deck. I thought you'd be throwing out your uh, Olivia earlier so you can shoot down <laughs> my uh, little pirate dudes. Yeah, that was a potential line, but I, I was kind of sitting on Damnation, so I didn't want to uh, increase my tax too much. Mm. Well, I would have played it earlier just to try to fly over and kill my, or like you can just make use... sure my Vraska doesn't ultimate. Well, if I play my Olivia, you just use your minus three on Vraska and it kills my Olivia right away, right? Yeah, but still, it it still yeah, it knocks it down. <laughs> it knocks it down, so it takes me a couple more turns, right? It's just uh just doesn't really get me anywhere. I'm just spending all my mana, and then you just plus it again and keep keep advancing. I'm, I'm in bad shape. Yeah, it gets you in pretty bad shape. But, I don't know, when I like extend a couple turns and you would have drew a couple cards or whatever. Yeah, might have bought me a turn or two, but I'm still in, still in 
a lot of trouble. Braska is pretty strong. It's very strong. Very good commander. Or not commander, uh, Planeswalker. Oh, yeah. Even at six mana. I actually like the more expensive ones. A little more uh, balanced. I feel like they're a little bit more balanced than. They're a little bit more creative. You know, you could do crazier things with them. And I think it's probably more fun. Yeah, I actually like some of the. Uh, what are they called? The, the other decks where you get the alternate planeswalkers. Oh, the planeswalker decks. The planeswalker decks, yeah. I can never remember it. They had so many different products. I get the product names mixed up. Yeah, I actually like some of those uh, six mana planeswalkers in those decks, even though they're slower. Probably, probably I like them. They're a little more, a little more darky. Yeah. Well, it's the Timmy in us. I know. Good old Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Ciao.